Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if anyone else has taken a look at Clemson's 2021 football schedule, but my God, is it horrific. They literally have one tough game, and it's non-conference, and it's week one, and it's a neutral site game against Georgia. So this is Clemson's schedule. I, I mean, I can just break it down. So we have one tough game and then 11 straight bye weeks, which is basically what we're looking at here. Uh, the Georgia game, obviously Georgia's a top five team. Great non-conference game. Good for college football. Opening weekend of the season. I love it. Um, but after that, you get South Carolina State, of course. Um, Georgia Tech at home at NC State versus Boston College at Syracuse at Pitt. That's probably their toughest game, uh, excluding the Georgia game. Versus Florida State at Louisville versus UConn versus Wake Forest at South Carolina. Maybe this their two toughest opponents might be non-conference SEC teams. I mean, when you look at this schedule, other than Georgia, which one of these teams are going to be ranked? And I, I, I'm not even going to ask that because you see these ACC teams sneak into these polls at the end of the season when they have no business. Which one of these teams is actually a top 25 team? Like legitimately a top 25 team? Like name me one team outside of Georgia, that is a top 25 team. This is a horrific schedule, and I can already hear Clemson's, Clemson fans arguing, well, if we lose to Georgia and win out, we should still make the, the college football playoff. No, 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 no. If you lose to Georgia, I'm sorry, you should be out. You have a schedule like this. There's, nobody's going to be ranked. You have one ranked team. You better beat Georgia. You have one ranked team. Now, I will say, we'll have to see what happens when the um, you know, when the ACC championship game comes around, Miami and Notre Dame and, and North Carolina, although those, those two teams, I think Miami is way overrated anyways, and North Carolina lost a lot last year. I do like Sam Howell. We'll see if, you know, one of those two teams are ranked really high, which should give them a quality win in the ACC championship game. But if they don't get a quality team in the ACC championship game, they should be out. I'm sorry. You lose to Georgia, you're gone. Unless you get a big win and the ACC championship game gives you a top 10 or top 15 win. This schedule, like, what are we doing here, folks? Like, the ACC is such a horrific conference. I think the MAC could be better. I honestly do. Like, like looking at this, uh, Georgia Tech average, maybe. NC State's average. Boston College is average. Syracuse is terrible. Pitt is average. Florida State is average. Louisville is average at best. UConn, you know, obviously non-conference. Uh, Wake Forest is terrible. South Carolina, that's another non-conference. So, um, again, th 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 Clemson should thank God they're playing both Georgia and South Carolina in non-conference because you miss both Miami and uh, North Carolina. This is a horrifically, horrifically, horrifically bad schedule. And that's why I think Clemson's quarterback, DJ Uilangile, um, I think he has zero chance at the Heisman through no fault of his own. Where is his Heisman moment going to come from? Is it going to come from him throwing a touchdown pass up 28 to nothing in the second quarter at Syracuse in the Carrier Dome? Is that going to be his Heisman moment? There's no Heisman moment. He's just going to sleepwalk through the season. The, he's going to be pulled in, in, late in the second quarter of all these games. There, it's just, it's just a horrific, horrific conference. The SEC, the the ACC, and I understand it's not Clemson's fault. They have a good non-conference schedule. They do at South Carolina and versus Georgia in a neutral site game. That's a really good non-conference. Obviously, South Carolina State and UConn are terrible, but the other two non-conference games are good. That's a really good non-conference schedule. But it's just the ACC. They miss both Miami. To be honest, guys, I don't think it would matter. I think they would destroy Miami. Miami if they faced them anyways but it's just like it like like I see something like this. it's just so frustrating like why is the ACC so horrifically bad seriously and I like Pitt I personally like Pitt I like their program I think they're underrated but it's like when Florida State is down the ACC is just like Oh, it's such a bad conference. Like, they they need Florida State not only to be good, but to be a perennial top 15 team. That's what they need for the ACC to be any good as a conference. When Flor Florida State's not only not a top 15 team, they're not a top 25 team. They're so down right now, and it is killing their conference. And you look at crap schedules like this, and it's just like... You know, I almost feel bad for, you know, DJ, uh, you know, Ui Lungi Lay. It's just like, I mean, he has no chance to win the Heisman. But guys, his Heisman moment, his Heisman moment, week seven, week seven at Syracuse at the Carrier Dome, DJ Ui Lungi Lay avoids the sack, throws a touchdown, 
35 to nothing with three minutes left in the second quarter. Heisman moment, baby. Oh, yeah. What about, a oh, NC State. They face NC State. Oh, my goodness. They face Boston College. Bo That's going to be so tough. Wake Forest before the South Carolina game. Oh, my. That's such a tough game. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is ridiculous. These the ACC, this Clemson schedule, I looked at it and I was like, I'd literally never seen the Clemson schedule. So I decided, like, I was just going through team schedule. So I pulled up the Clemson schedule and I was just like, oh, okay, Georgia Tech, that's an easy win. You know, NC State, that's an easy win. Boston College, Syracuse, you know, Pitt, okay. Florida State, okay. Um, at home, you know, at Louisville, all right. Like, and then I was just like, wait, I'm at, I'm at the end of the schedule? Like there's like there's no other ranked team on this list other than Georgia. That is how pathetic this schedule is. It is horrific. And again, it's really not Clemson's fault. It's how bad the ACC currently is with the state of Florida State. They're down. We know Louisville kind of had a few really good years with Lamar Jackson when he won the Heisman. But other than that, uh, Miami... I think they're completely overrated. I don't know how they're ranked 10th in the FPI. I think ESPN did that on purpose to try and give Alabama a quality week one win. Folks, that Alabama-Miami game should not be hyped up at all. Alabama is literally 19-point favorites breaking in a new quarterback, according to Vegas. They're breaking in a new quarterback. They're still 19-point favorites with that uncertainty. It's, it's, it's not a good game. I'm sorry, it's not. Guys, that's just a quick rant on how bad the ACC is. Make sure you're following me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.